This is your RDC Athletics 2-Minute Timeout. We're talking basketball, volleyball, hockey, and a little bit of badminton this week as well. I'm Tim James. Let's kick it off on the court. Kings basketball have won four games in a row. Momentum really began to pick up last Friday in Calgary with a 77-71 win over Sate. The next night, fans at Red Deer College were treated to an 88-77 home victory over Sate. With the success, head coach Clayton Pottinger is optimistic. We're still in the hunt for uh, for a second place uh, outside shot at first in the South. Kings basketball are in Lethbridge this weekend to challenge the Kodiaks. Same opponent as Queens basketball, who begin a difficult stretch of games against the top three teams in the ACAC, all starting with the league's third overall team, the Lethbridge Kodiaks, on Friday. In college volleyball, the Queens have rattled off four straight wins to kick off 2012, following their back-to-back three-set victories over State last weekend. That's launched RDC into sixth in the ACAC, just a couple wins behind Grand Prairie for fifth, with those two teams squaring off in GP this weekend. Kings volleyball will also be up north, with the potential of moving into a tie for first place in the ACAC, with a pair of victories over Grand Prairie, as well as some help from around the league. The men from RDC also swept the state Trojans on the volleyball court this past weekend. On ice, Queens Hockey enjoyed some time off last week, preparing for a crucial home-and-home with the state Trojans this week. RDC sits just four points back of state for the final playoff spot. They face off Thursday at 7 at Red Deer Arena before heading down the QE2 on Saturday night. RDC Badminton was at Concordia last week for their third ACAC tournament of the year. It was a good showing for our college's Mary Smith, who finished second in women's singles while also placing second in the doubles with Mizuki AY. This week's Boston Pizza RDC Athletes of the Week are both volleyballers. King's second-year left side, Quinton Schmidt, and Queen's fourth-year right side, Jacqueline Newfeld, score the honors. That's your two-minute timeout for RDC Athletics. I'm Tim James.